Hey, check your mic just a little bit. What's up? <laughs> check one, two. <laughs> What's up? It's your boy. It's your boy. My boy. <laughs> Back everybody to another episode of This Is My Bourbon Podcast. I'm Perry, your host, and I've got with me Curtis. Heck yeah. Hey man. What's up? Not much. How are you, buddy? Oh, uh, pretty good. Yeah, it's a Monday. It is a Monday. Yeah, you know what else it is? Uh b- Bourbon Monday. Bur- bur- <laughs> Budweiser <laughs> Bourbon Monday. <laughs> Now it's Bourbon and Beyond Week. Oh, yeah, yeah it, is. it is. Yeah, this episode's coming out two days after we record it, and uh, that means that it's coming out five days before Bourbon and Beyond. So, what up? There we go. <laughs> I'm so excited for it. Dude, uh, me too. Um, we are going to be doing a whole bunch of interviews with people. We're going to be sitting on sitting in on some workshops and some tasting tables. It's going to be so much fun. So, if you are there... I hopefully I ordered a couple of shirts. Hopefully I'm going to have my this is my bourbon podcast shirt oh, yeah? by the time uh, we, we get to Louisville. But we'll we'll see. I might not. Um, but yeah, man, this is like no, this feels exciting. like the first big break for the podcast. Yeah, yeah it should be good, man. <laughs> um, like we're actually doing something. With yeah. It, right. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and just to give a little feature where. Who and what are we going to be interviewing? Yeah, so we're going to be talking to a couple of bands. We only have a few lined up right now, but I think that the closer we get to Saturday and Sunday, we're going to have more booked on. We have quite a few distilleries. Uh, I won't give away too many names, but I will say that we got some... We got some good names lined up. Yeah, we got yeah. some good names, and I'll I'll uh, I'll go ahead and drop one. Yeah, you gotta. I'll drop go ahead the, and drop one. Yeah, name drop a few. Uh, uh, Trey Zoller from Jefferson's. Uh, okay, uh, is going to be sitting down with us, and then uh, Sarah Barnes from Boone County Distilling up in Northern Kentucky. So I'm crazy excited for this. I uh, it's, you know it it's funny. We usually put so much energy and effort into like one week or one episode or something and this time we have to put that much energy into into like exactly into like a dozen plus different people that we're going to be talking to so i'm just i'm floored at the opportunity and everything and i really thank the people from bourbon and beyond for letting us come and and do our thing and meet so many awesome people but yeah so hopefully you listen to that episode Uh, it's definitely going to be really good yeah and i'm hoping that we'll have at least one episode from this it's possible that we could have two but at the very least that first episode is going to be coming out next wednesday so a week after this one drops so be on the lookout for that but in the meantime we have some business to take care of beyond the lookout (laughs) oh curtis has to go take care of his laundry um yeah we got we got some uh we got some stuff to drink and uh, we just introduced a new segment recently called Flying Blind, where we try things that we've either never had before or wanted to revisit. And in this case, it's something we've never had before. Never had. And I'm a little nervous, I'm going to be honest with you, but... I'm not nervous. I just, am, I know I'm not, like... Curious? I'm not, yeah, sure. Yeah. I just know I'm not going to be wild. Sure, yeah. I don't think I'm going to be very enthused by it either, but it's uh, the Budweiser Copper Lager. That uh, do you want to read what what makes yes, it different? Because to. you were the one that brought this to my attention. <laughs> yeah. So Perry said, "Oh yeah, it's been aged in uh, oak barrels, uh, aged barrels." And I s- started reading the label, and it says "aged on real barrel staves." So not even not in... even in a bourbon barrel, but just on the staves. <laughs> For how long we don't know. I don't know if it matters. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Probably not. We're going to find out. So I, mean, uh, I guess, I mean, no, no, we'll see. 6.2% alcohol. So what? 12.4 proof. <laughs> yeah. 
It smells like Budweiser. Yeah. Uh, it it smells very distinctly of like of Budweiser. Of a Budweiser. Of a lager. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. That was a crappy. Oh, great. <laughs> all right, moving on. <laughs> It just tastes like Budweiser. For the most part, I kind of get some notes of 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 a uh, like a like a bourbon of a there's bourbon. A, there's a little bit more vanilla, I guess. That yeah, comes I wouldn't say through, bourbon. Right. I would say it has a hint of vanilla and uh, maybe a little bit of a of a nutty taste. A little bit, but I think that that's like, probably like Budweiser has a little bit of nuttiness to it anyway. It yeah. just seems like it's kind of brought it out more. It's not bad. No, I enjoy it. I, mean, I actually, it, yeah, I kind of, I kind of like it. But I mean, it's definitely Budweiser. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, <laughs> it's a Budweiser it beer. You know, yeah, for sure, for sure. But I, I mean, I don't know if I would drink this. I would probably actually drink this over regular Budweiser. I think I would. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Bud Light either, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's just, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, this is pretty good. Um, it wasn't that expensive. I think it was, uh, like $7 for a six pack. Okay. So, I mean, it's, yeah, it's not going to set you back too much and it's a conversation starter, I guess. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm happy with it. I kind of am too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, re- I would be able to enjoy, you know, a couple of these. I don't feel like it would get me into too much trouble. No. It tastes like I want to drink bourbon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like I want to have one of these and then just switch to bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. And at that point, why even have the, the beer? I wonder how it pairs with Jim Beam. Let's find out. Uh, no, nah, I'm kidding. I didn't bring any Jim Beam. <laughs> oh, darn it. <laughs> well, let's find out. Yeah, let's let's find out. Oh, I just remembered something else. Um I, the other night, recorded two episodes of a show called The Cluttered Desk Podcast, uh, where I was asked to talk about bourbon and kind of walk the two hosts. One of them is Colin Cox uh, from the Hop Ons Podcast. I've had him and his co-host, uh, John Phelps, on this show before to talk about arrest development and bourbon. Uh, but for The Cluttered Desk, Colin and his friend Andrew talk about just a uh, whole bunch of different things like literature and alcohol and you know all over the place so they wanted to have me on to kind of talk them through how to taste bourbon Bourbon. Mm -hmm. so uh be on the lookout for the first of those two episodes it's probably going to be within the next week or so that that comes out but i'll of course be sharing social media links and everything to it in the meantime but like one of the one of the things i had them try of course was jim beam and then i kind of walked them through Kind of the yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just a so, simple introductory. Yeah, exactly. And they're not like bigger bourbon drinkers like, like we are. So, yep. I mean, made sense. Hey, I kind of like this. I'm I'm starting to come around to it a little bit more. Oh yeah, no, I think it's good. And it's, I, I was skeptical when I saw it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's got a little bit of uh, milk chocolate to it too. Yeah, just a li- just a little bit, but yeah. Not bad. Good job, Not Budweiser. Bad. Yeah, way to go. And I guess Jim Beam. It's different. Yeah. I guess Jim Beam. I'm it's just different, sure. you know? <laughs> okay, so uh, that was Flying Blind for the most part. I guess we're going to kind of finish this up as we talk about what we've been drinking recently. So, Kurt, buddy, what you been drinking recently? I have been drinking some good stuff. Have you now? Yes. Yes, I do rec- tell. I recently had gotten Wilderness Trail. Mm-hmm. There, it's from, I believe, Batch C. Mm-hmm. And... Yes. Their bottle and bond. Oh man, it's even it's, it's good just stuff. As, yeah, it's just as good as I remember from when we did the review of it. And did we do that with Swan? Is that who? Was yeah, on we that did week? it with Swan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just good. I'm so excited for the future of Wilderness Trail and their oh, products, yeah. and uh, definitely will be a buyer in the future. Oh, for sure, for sure. Now and the future. So they've got good things coming, I think, and uh, they're. They're on the right. I think they're on maybe the maybe the best path 
to success out of all of the new craft the new, distilleries mm-hmm. that are popping up. And I think the only one that is in contention with them is New Riff. Yeah. And their bottled and bond is really good. Oh, yeah. Uh, we had that on the show a few weeks ago, too, uh, with Chad and Swan, actually. Swan popping up a lot yeah. <laughs> today. And it's, I haven't seen Swan in a while. Swan needs to come and do another episode with us. I hadn't seen Swan either. <laughs> I actually got this uh, bottle of bourbon. He he got it for me, and I wasn't in town, and so he dropped it off in my mailbox. <laughs> That's good mail. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, came home and was like, ooh, bourbon. Ooh, okay. Bourbon mail. He should have let me know. I would have held on to it for you because yeah. so, that sounds scary. Ah, it wasn't bad. It was That's only weird. in the mailbox for like 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, anything else you've been drinking? Uh, that's been about it. Been drinking some Wathans. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what have, I, what have I been drinking? Oh, I just got the new batch of uh, Booker's Yeah. recently. It's called Kentucky Chew. Mm. And uh, I, I uncorked it at or on my uh, live stream on Friday night, this past Friday night. By the way, live streams are switching over to YouTube from Instagram. So it just search uh, this is my bourbon podcast on YouTube, and I haven't quite nailed down the day just yet for the new live streams. Uh, so if you have a preference, tweet in at my bourbon pod and let me know because uh, I really wanted to switch over to YouTube from Instagram because I, you know, was getting frustrated with the fact that it was only there for twenty four hours, and this way people can go back whenever they want to, and Lock it's it. you know better quality and. Reaches a wider audience and yada yada. But anyway, I'm happy to be over on YouTube now instead of on Instagram. But anyway, that Booker's is fantastic. I tell you, man, I have not been able to get off of the Wild Turkey 101 kick. Yeah, I know. You, uh, I noticed you've been talking about that. Dude, it is just... So this uh, this most recent bottle that I got, there's something about it that has been really like almond buttery. Okay. Just which I've never noticed before on a on a Turkey 101 bottle before. And I mean it's everything else that I love about Turkey 101 but with the inclusion of this almond butter flavor that's just I just love it. I mean, I'm hoping that the next bottle isn't, you know, worse than this cuz yeah. then I'll be like, "Oh, but my one honey bottle." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to I'm just going to go ahead and say that you probably will be a little disappointed because I'm sure I will you be. seem to have an affinity for this almond butter. I, I, I do. <laughs> I do. But, but anyway, good nonetheless. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, so I, I'm not going to like save the bottle or anything because I, you know, I enjoy it too much to just let it sit there yeah. forever. But anyway, that's about all that I've been drinking. So today's topic is, um, well, it's less of a topic and more of like t- torture hour. <laughs> For us, because I wanted to do, we we have a lot of good bourbon on the show. We do, we do, and uh, sometimes we kind of, you know, we talk crap about the bad stuff. So I figured, why not revisit some of the bad stuff? Yeah, and I guarantee you, we're gonna have a few of these that we're probably like, huh, well. yeah, it's like, oh, not that bad. Yeah. yeah. So the first one is a uh, cabin still. Cabin still. <laughs> Um, oh wow! Cabin still this is brings me back to college. <laughs> three years old, uh, eighty proof, made by. You know, I'm not sure who makes this. I think it might be uh, the. It, it's either Heaven Barstown. Hill. Yeah, it's either Heaven Hill or Barton. I think it might be Barton though. Barton. Yeah, and then Kentucky Tavern. Yes. <laughs> good wow. Old, good old you KT. Are... Please, where's the K- Kentucky Gentleman? That's not even bourbon. It's a blend. Yeah. It's blended whiskey. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. But then our review is going to be a bourbon that notoriously gives me a headache. <laughs> Benchmark, which is a Buffalo Trace product. And I'm not so, I'm not excited about it. I haven't had it in a while. This bottle is probably about four years old. Oh, wow. And I've just, like, I slowly whittled it down. But anyway... I, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little excited for this because some of these things <laughs> I haven't had in quite a bit. I haven't had it in and, a long uh, time. The fullest one is that cabin still bottle, but that's because I bought it recently and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll give it a try. Yeah. I mean, I may as well give it a go. I, I figured, you know, expand. What do I always say? Drink, you know, try new things. 
try old and things. So, and try old things yeah, that, you, try that Curtis things. may not have had since he was in yeah. college. Try so, things you don't like. Yeah. I don't know. So wait, where do you want to start? You want to uh, start with the cabin still? Or you want to start with KT? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm going to be honest with you, though. <laughs> Just going back and forth, like <laughs> looking at them like, uh, it, I mean, you can't really decide. Let's um, start with. Kentucky Tavern. Okay, so, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So good old good old Kentucky Tavern. Um, this one actually I know is made by Barton. Yes. I think this is another th- three year, three year <laughs> product. Again, eighty Same. proof. Oh, you know what? It might not. I don't think it does. Well, it's at least two years. No, it's aged at least thirty six months. Yeah. So so three years. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. All right. <laughs> let's uh. Let's do this. So kind of like we're, we're also going to be talking about like we, we tend to champion the bottom shelf in terms of like, oh, you know, don't overlook some of those things that are there. Like Heaven Hill, uh, yeah, Six Year Green some of these good and, kind of diamonds in the rough. Yeah, exactly. But I think that we've kind of lined up things that don't have a good reputation. And, <laughs> and let's put it to the test. Let's let's do that. Because I really haven't had it. In a long time to really give a, a good evaluation of it. Oh, that but nose is real bad. <laughs> Dude. Oh, what have we done? Ooh. Why do we do this? Uh, yep. Oh, it's just like straight ethanol. <laughs> There's no on redeeming earth? quality on that. There's a little bit of like banana flavor or b- banana scent on the nose, yeah. but... Gosh, that is, that's brutal. <laughs> oh, I'm not. Why do we do this? <laughs> I poured too much. Yes, you, sir, you certainly did. <sighs> yeah, I get banana. Banana, heat, and a little like little caramel. Or at, like apricot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what it, the sweetness is. <laughs> like banana and yeah. apricot and then ethanol. You know, Kentucky Tavern actually used to be something that people really liked. Mm-hmm. Like not, but it, before they, I guess, got bought out by Barton or by Sazerac, and uh, it was supposed to be a pretty high quality product. But now it's, you know, it, it's sneezed down, at. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure as the brand kind of got less known, then the the more the less quality it was. Oh, it tastes it tastes low quality. Oof. Oh, you remember that um, that Hayes Parker we had? Yeah, that we, we said had the Kentucky Strangle. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of has that too. <laughs> like yeah. it just hits your chest, and it, it's more the oh. the finish. Like not even the finish. It's just it sits in your like right in your sits chest. and burns in your chest. Yeah, like you just want it to go away. Yeah, because at first I I I took a drink and was was like, oh, well, you know, there's no taste. There's no, nothing really notable about the the finish or, or the palate. But then 10 seconds afterwards, you're like, whoa. <laughs> Second sip is better than the first, I will say that much. But it's not by much. The finish is just putrid. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's this overly chemical and... <laughs> yeah. Oh, th- I do not like this flavor at all. The front, the front of the palate. Front's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it it kind of tastes like a uh, like a um. Oh shoot! What do you put on banana pudding? Whipped cream. The little, n- no, no, not whipped cream. The little cookies. Oh, wafers. Yeah, vanilla wafers. Yeah, vanilla wafers. Yeah, they yeah, taste a little bit like vanilla wafers. That's a good day. That's, description of it. I mean, that's just kind of. All that there is. That's it. To it. Yeah. Bananas, apricots. And I mean, this this bottle's... On the nose, and then yeah. you get banana and vanilla wafer. Yeah, and this bottle's like, you know, $10. Yeah. So, I mean, it's... You're not expecting a whole lot, but still, this is... <laughs> it's priced at the right point. I think it is, too. This is by no means anything that I want to... <laughs> <laughs> revisit in the future. You know what I mean? Like it's just yeah. the only way I would 
visit it is if uh, you were on a desert island and it was a whole truck of Kentucky Tavern just yeah. fell out of the and sky and it was that's the last it. thing you had. Yeah, to... that's all we got. <laughs> if uh, this was it was a, like the apocalypse <laughs> and there was the only bottle of bourbon was Kentucky Tavern. It's like Road Warrior, but for <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for bourbon. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sure, it'd be great then. I think at that point, I'd just say anybody else. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's beer left? I'll go with beer. <laughs> yeah. I don't like beer, but sure. Would you recommend this? I mean, I'm not going to recommend it. No, I wouldn't either. <laughs> I guess. If you, I halfway want to say, like, if you ever, never have it, like. I mean, you should try it for sure. Yeah. Because it's worth the experience, but, like, in terms of. You know, something that you should have on your shelf. I don't think that it's. I don't think that it's a necessity. No, you should definitely not have this on your shelf. I can already tell you, this is going to be a quicker episode because we do not want to drink these for this. very long yeah. and let them let them linger. All right, Perry, what do you want to try next? Well, we only have one before we want to try the. Oh, actually, you know what? I have other things that we can try too if we want. I have a six-year very old Barton. Lots of Barton products. See, very old Barton, I. Actually, this is pretty good. I don't know why I, I enjoy. Oh yeah, yeah. Something's off about this bottle, though. I'll tell you. I'll tell you that. I'm much. glad you brought that bottle then. Yeah. Well, I I did it on did it on purpose. Um. Well, do you want to do Barton or do you want to do Cabin Still? When was let's last go time? Cabin Still. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. The Vob's uh, eighty six proof too. Okay. So. Whoo wee. Okay. I gotta recenter my chi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you haven't had cabin still in a while? No, I, I have poured not. too much of the cabin still this time. It looks like watered down bourbon. It yes. looks like when you put an, an ice cube in and it sat there and melted. Mm-hmm. And if I remember correctly, that's how it smells too. And this is aged for thirty six months. Thirty six months, same as the other. Okay. Oh, actually, the nose isn't terrible on this. It's little, better. It's better than the last one. I thought. Yeah, it's more. There's there's more complexity to it. I, yeah, I'll say that. There's like grassiness. <laughs> yeah. Like a grass kind note, of an earth, and then some like orange peel. Yeah. But then you get into it a little and then bit. Then it's a little further, musty and, and it's yeah. And you know what? Too cabin still actually used to be also well revered. Like cabin still used to be a good brand, and now it's. Uh, now people turn their nose up at it. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, I'm sure it was way different back when oh, it was. Oh, it totally was. Yeah. It totally was. I'm sure it was you know? pretty good when it, at that time. Oh, yeah. It's just now, like, there's so much flooding of the market and, you know, you have to have. So let's, let's say, let's say you went into the store. Okay. Okay. You had $30. You can either buy multiple bottles at a lower price or one bottle at a higher price. What would you rather do? One bottle at a higher price. I would agree. There's no way. Because I think that there's not enough good stuff on the lower shelf that warrants. (laughs) That warrants that. If I have $30, I'm going to get something I'm going to really enjoy and probably kind of ration out more. I mean, I... If I mean, I definitely could make it work on thirty dollars on if I wanted multiple bottles, like I, you know, the Heaven Heaven Hill bottled and bond, and you know, but Perry just tasted it. Wow, <laughs> it ha- it has that weird mustiness to it. But in such a like bad funky way that it's painful. Oh, it's got some funk, man. It really does. It has like a like soured chocolate. <laughs> you know what fun- I, you know what I mean? It's funky. It's really bad. It's really bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> it's like uh It's just. Funky. I don't even know. Yeah, I wanted. To, <laughs> I, I wanted to say. I was going to compare. I. I was like, 
You know the Kendrick Lamar song, the "We've Got the Funk." Oh yeah. <laughs> and but I was like, but that's a good funk, and this is a bad funk, so I definitely don't want to compare it to that. Yeah, yeah. It's musty. This, this is uh, bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like it's been sitting in somebody's attic for, and you're. It tastes. It tastes. In somebody's spoiled. attic for you know a hundred years. Yeah. And it's been open, and like the cork could. Fell in it. Yeah, it tastes this, like cork rot. Yeah. That's what it's that's what it yeah. tastes like. It reminds me of the um Blanton's bottle that we had that one that night at had, Tom's. Even though the Blanton's bottle was worse than this, I will have to say. No, I ag- I agree with you. This was I mean, well, from what I remember, I mean if I had them side by side, I don't know if I could tell you what was what or what I preferred, but I think I would prefer this. This but is it's just a musty taste. It has such a spoiled flavor to it. Mm-hmm. Like, it just tastes like it's gone bad, which is not supposed to really happen with bourbon, bourbon if you no. take good care of it. But this is aggressively upsetting. <laughs> yeah. It's aggressively <laughs> sour. Mm-hmm. Just sour. To follow up on my question to you earlier, too, I would I would do the same. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I would definitely... You know, buy one bottle over many because, I mean, I always say quality over quantity. Yeah, and I think most know. people would agree with that. Yeah, and th- this is, I don't know if you could pay me to buy this bottle. I don't think so. Like, I mean, oh, jeez. It's tough to even say you <laughs> you couldn't pay me to buy both of these bottles. Mm-mm. Nope. Oh, you could not. Yeah, but with that being said, it's tough to, like, say that because you're, I mean, these are, like, $10. Yeah, I know. You know, you can't. I know. You can't expect what what we've had when you're paying $10. Okay, okay, okay. This or Jack Daniels? (laughs) Jack Daniels. You think? Yeah. I think I kind of have to agree with you. I think this is just, this is unsalvageable. Yeah. You know what's tough. funny about this, the, about the cabin still though, is the, like it smelled better than it tasted. Yes, it did. But, but the, the Kentucky, Kentucky Tavern, Tavern, it was the opposite. Like yeah. it tasted better than it uh-huh. smelled. Gosh. <laughs> yep. Moving on. Moving on to something. You want to do this VOB? Where'd it go? Right there. Right here in front of us. Yeah, sure. Awesome. Let's try it. Let's try that. We are really burning through this because this is. <laughs> That's all right. Ooh, buddy. <clears throat> okay. All right. So VOB. This is the uh, six-year age stated. The real double OG. V-O-B. <laughs> you know me. Wait, I was doing. D O double G, and I messed yeah. it up already. So. We were doing different things. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I was doing Snoop Dogg. <laughs> you just got you just got the uh, knife to the throat oh, okay. motion. Yeah, so this was uh, the six year age stated VOB. You like it? You like the smell of it? I think the smell. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay with it. Oh, it certainly smells better than what we've had yeah, so yeah. far, comparatively. Oh. Has a hint of that darker chocolate. Yeah, it does. Aroma. It has it has more barrel. Flavor, barrel flavor, more of a char. I mean, it's, it's six years. Maybe this was a, I, maybe this isn't what I remember it being. Maybe I was thinking of the, uh, this old Forester. Okay. I think I was thinking of the old Forester. So here's what I'm going to say. Let's, uh, let's do, let's do the two side by side. Okay. If that's okay by you. Yeah. Cause I need to be taken back to when I <laughs> first had both of these. And try to remember what it was that was so terrible. I think it's this one. Oh yeah, it's definitely it's like, the old, it's definitely the old Forester that smells. The old worse. Forester t- smells like paint thinner. Like, yes, exactly, like that and smelly socks. Yeah. Oh geez. All right. So what do we That's, want to try first? Uh, let's do the very old Barton first. Okay. So we can kind of give ourselves a nice palate cleanser of something. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. Little heat on the middle. 
Actually, that's really but, not that bad. Yeah. I mean, for an 86 proofer, that's pretty decent. Yeah. It's not my favorite no, I mean, bourbon yeah, by any means. I don't think but, you expect it to be. But the No, I don't either. It, the flavors are there. The It's something. It's, it's just a, the, it's a thing. The thing that kind of gets me is the middle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But moving on to... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to think on that. I also got this weird, like, sweet tart or, like, sugary smell on the nose, too, before I'm about to take my sip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so it was this bottle. <laughs> yeah, that, that's Dude, it. Dude, from the moment it hits your palate, it's Oh, there's just, nothing redeeming about oof. this. I mean, the very front of the tongue is mm. so bad. It Oh, my god! This is like paint thinner. This is, watch, this is going to be like the most downloaded episode of all time because it's just going to be listening to us get tortured for an hour. <laughs> I don't even know if we'll be able to make it an hour. I mean, we're at 40 minutes right now. Okay, maybe. Just in just on recording time, but... And we still have Benchmark left to review, too. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Dude, this is bad. Rough. I mean, this really does smell like it... I mean, this is another one that smells like it's soured. Yeah. Really quickly. Mm-hmm. You good? Yeah, it's you just confused. gross, You look confused for a second. I mean, I'm confused on why they would put this out, but... Well, luckily, this is... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay the, so luckily this is a bottle that's not available anymore yeah i mean geez. it's the old style label the vob is so much better yeah and that i mean and that, i think it's my favorite that we've tried so far yeah and i screwed up i shouldn't have brought that one it was the old forester but it's a good thing that i brought both of them because i mean you know i was like oh yeah they were both bad but then the more i thought about it i was like ah maybe the very old barton was kind of good yeah. And sure enough, it was, I've always had uh, good experiences Forrester. with very old Barton. Yeah. So but their bottled and bond is really good. I don't know if you've had that or not. I don't think like a I white have. label. Yeah, I have. No, that's good. That's good stuff. That's what uh, Brett keeps at his house. Okay. As like his well bourbon. Yeah. So I think that's smart. Yeah. Dude, it's just like night and day. Mm-hmm. I mean, going between the two, they're both eighty six proof. I don't know the age on the old Forester, but. You know, what What kills me about the Old Forester label is every every single one of their bottles says there is nothing better in the market. Okay. Go uh, on. Like, <laughs> don't, don't pull that crap yeah, with me. Yeah, let's not do that. No. Um, no, no, no. So the very old Barton compared to the Cabin Still in Kentucky Tavern, they are, the K- Cabin Still in Kentucky Tavern are... 36 months, right? Right. And the very old Barton is for six years. Yeah. What's the price point on a fifth of very old Barton? Um, like $16. $16 compared to a cabin still in Kentucky Tavern that's sitting at... Like 10 10 <laughs> Definitely... The extra three, obviously. Oh, absolutely. Extra three years, yeah, man. totally, totally. Uh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> the, I can't finish the. I don't blame you. I mean, I'm I'm kind of amazed that I was able to finish it, but I'm gonna knock back this vob real quick so mm-hmm. we can move on to our review. I'm just gonna power through. <laughs> I'm proud of you. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. It was quite the shiver. Quite the shiver. So do you do you want to move on to our review then? Yeah. Okay, so that was um that was Perry and Curtis being tortured for yes, <laughs> three I, bourbons. But then the <laughs> review's gonna be torture for four bourbons. Oh yes, it is. More it than is. likely. So like I said earlier, our review is uh benchmark, which is notorious for giving me a headache every time that I drink it. Uh, it's 80 proof, three years, and it's a Buffalo Trace product. And I don't like this bourbon very much. I will be honest with you. I haven't had it okay. since um, 
gosh, I don't, I don't know when the last time was. And as we're, uh, as we're pouring this up, I want to say, um, hello to our patrons over on patreon.com slash my bourbon podcast who are getting the video review for this episode. Uh, if you would like to see this video, you can become a patron, uh, for as little as a dollar a month. And you, you said a to, dollar, Perry. I said a dollar. That's not much, is that's it? That's not much at all. That's so. That's such a small amount. So there's the bottle, and all its glory, crappy glory. Yeah, I don't know if you can. You know what's funny too? Again, benchmark used to be well respected. Yeah. <laughs> it used to be a thing that that people kind of liked, and mm-hmm. then it got bought out again. And here's that guy. <laughs> there's uh, that guy. That's oh, Daniel oh, hi, for Daniel. everyone. This is Daniel. Hi. I am actually a connoisseur of both ethyl alcohol and paint thinner as well as glue. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. So if you ever need any help, just, just call well, Essentially what he's saying is he huffs a lot of paint as well. Okay. Well, if so. he wants to take a good whiff of this uh, cabin still <laughs> or the uh, old Forester, I won't, I won't it, stop you. Oh, it'll get you I going. Mean, here. Look, I won't even be upset if you drink straight from the bottle there because it's... Uh, and self-cleaning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> and sure. go ahead. Blue. Yep. No, See, there it is. <laughs> there it okay. is. Paint thinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so our our review. I I'm not looking forward to this. I'm going to be honest with you. This says I'm interested. Sure. Sure. I mean, out of everything we've had so far, I don't think we've recommended anything other than the very old Barton. Yeah. So if we wind up recommending this, I will be shocked. Very, very surprised. I'm not getting anything. anything. (laughs) Like, it's nothing. There's nothing there. I mean, I'm not... I'm so, so faint, but... But... Like maybe a hint of sweetness, and I can't even like distinguish alcohol. what that sweetness is. I can't either. And there's a little bit of alcohol on it too, mm. but it's so, oh, it's so like painfully faint that I don't. Yeah, like it I mean, of, I can't even it give kind it. Kind of it upsets a, me a little bit. Yeah. you know what I mean. <laughs> I can't even give it a kind of a a good rating or a good uh, assumption of what it is because I don't. I can't smell it. Okay, the more I, like, dig my nose into the glass, the the better I can smell it. And it's actually not terrible on the nose. Yeah, and I, There's some, I suppose I'll give it that in the sense of, you know, it's not bad. Right, but I shouldn't have to work so hard to smell it, right? Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I shouldn't be going, gosh, I really, really have to hunt for what's good or bad in this. Yeah. In this bourbon. Well, should we try? I already have. All right. Don't make it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I just always have such a visceral reaction to this bourbon. <laughs> you look mad. Oh, no. The camera went off. Ah. All right. Hold on. I think it's on a 10 minute timer. Keep talking. The nose is just as bad as the, I mean, the palate is just as bad as the nose. Yeah. In the sense of there's not much there. And then it's just worse than the nose because it it just <laughs> tastes bad. Right. No, it is definitely worse than the nose. I would rather there be nothing on the palate <laughs> than there be, be this really gross chemical. Mm. Dude, that is awful. It's not good. That is so gross. Th- th- and the finish is non-existent, too. No, I yeah. mean, there's the little teeny tiniest bit of a Kentucky hug, but other than that, man, it is... It just has on. me, like, fuming. <laughs> <laughs> not, we'll drink something better like, after not this. Mad. I it's yeah. just like, uh, it has me going... <laughs> <laughs> you think smoke's going to come out yeah, of your ears or like, something? Yeah. Breathing heavily. Just trying to get air. Golly, dude, this is. So my my this brother is... my brother used to drink this by the handle because mm-hmm. it was cheap. And I was like, you know that there are better things out there for a little bit more money, right? And yeah. He's like, 
no, I didn't. And I was like, well, you should buy something else. That's yeah, not Benchmark. You should never. Dude, I'm getting the headache now, too. I don't have the headache or anything, but you should never just oh. chill out the extra three to five dollars to, to get, to get something, something else. Better. Just not great. Like, it's not going to be amazing, but just enough to to be an enjoyable experience. It smells like pool sweat. <laughs> like we, when you've, when it's a hot day and you've been at the pool and like you have the chlorine smell yeah, and like okay. your, your perspiration, like all at the same time, mm-hmm. it just smell. And it even tastes a little bit like that too. I mean, Oh jeez. Okay. I don't know how many more bad things I can say about this. This is yeah. like a $12 bourbon. Okay, let's review uh, it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get this I'm crab ready. over with. <laughs> uh, we have a review system of nose, palate, finish, and price. Each category is out of five, and then we tally everything up for a total out of 20. And then we tell you that you shouldn't buy Benchmark. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Curtis, what first. would you give this on the nose? Uh, nose, one. Yeah. I I am in complete agreement with you. A one, yes, for sure. Uh, there is just to give a description. Nothing. There's nothing, <laughs> and I cannot give it a description. Aggressively nothing. Yeah. So. And again, like if a you hint dig, of if, sweet. Yeah, and if you dig a little bit deeper as you stick your nose further in the glass, you get something. But even then, it's so like frustrating that you have to work that hard for it. Yeah. That it makes me not care. Yeah. And so a one, one is as far as I'm going to go. Palette. On I'm, point five. I was going to go point five as well. Uh, I mean, that the, is. The palette is worse than the nose because you actually taste it. <laughs> and there's just nothing kind of redeeming about it. There might be a little hint of uh, something sweet, but no I'm so, caramel. I'm so frustrated with this yeah, bourbon. Uh, no caramel, no... Uh, you know, chocolate, no. There's just nothing. There's, There's nothing. Just nothing. And it just is like this sour kind of taste. I, mm-hmm. So 0. 0.5. Um, I'm going to give... I think I'm going to give the finish a 0. 0.25. Because it's not... Like, it's not that there is nothing there, because the Kentucky Hug is a little bit there. But, like... I'll, the give, f- I'll give it a 0. 0.5. Okay. Your funeral. <laughs> I mean, you're, we're literally just like apples to oranges, like 0. 0.5 and 0. 0.25. I, I know, but it's just um, like we're a very small margin here. Now, the price, though, I'm going to give it a two. <laughs> price, I'll give it a, a two. And yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, it's not bad for a, I mean, like it's it's a very cheap bourbon. It's not like it's, yeah, you know, I mean, you can't anything. hang on the, on the price like it's cheap. <laughs> you got to expect the quality or lack thereof right. of what you're getting. I mean, you have to respect that fact. Yeah. It's not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be Pappy. No, or it's and not even supposed to be Elijah Craig. Like it, yeah. there's, it, it is and so far outside of the spectrum that it's, <laughs> I feel like I've made you mad. Have I made you I, mad with this episode? Episode. I'm sorry. I'm you want, cry later on. We'll drink something know. better after we get done. <laughs> I promise. Uh, I brought Henry McKenna. Hey, there we go. Yeah. I don't know why. I brought Henry McKenna. So we have Been something able to good. Find to find it? Where'd you find that? I. <laughs> did you go scrounging? Like, where did I find it? I. At the Target in Hamburg. Oh, okay. Do you know that the Target in Hamburg has yeah. a liquor section? Uh huh. I had no idea. I got real lucky. I've also seen it in Richmond for $50. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. Yep. Yep. Perfect eye roll. I haven't found it in a long time. Yeah. So anyway, you gave it. You gave Benchmark a four out of twenty, <laughs> <laughs> and I gave it a three point seven five out of twenty. Yep. This is a do not recommend from the two of us. Yeah, that's about right. And it's a bad. It's a bad a bourbon. It's a bad a bourbon. <laughs> I do, do not drink. Nope. Nope. Hey, I. Uh, let's let's drink something better. Okay. Shall we? So before that. I want to say thank you to our patrons for watching this review episode. We appreciate you guys and everything that you do. Again, if you want to become a patron of the show and you get exclusive content like this, as well as bonus episodes, you can head to patreon.com slash my bourbon podcast. And we would appreciate you doing such nice things for us. So anyway, and hopefully you enjoyed our 
our expressions of disgust. Our awful faces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you enjoy watching us be in pain. Essentially. Thank you. Um, <laughs> anyway, bye, Patreon. Hey, Curtis. Yeah, let's try something. Let's try something else. Yeah. Um, and in the meantime, we're going to move on to our <clears throat> famous segment, Tips and Bits. Uh, where we recommend things okay. that don't have to necessarily be bourbon. And it won't be. And it won't be, yeah. Because yep. I have a good I have a good thing to recommend. I don't oh, know yeah. if you do okay. or not, but yeah. Um, what do you so recommend? My tips and bits are going to be uh, American Horror Story Apocalypse. Is it good? Um, so the first episode was, was very good. Uh, I, I caution this in the sense of... So I, I've been watching for probably about... I haven't watched the, all of the seasons... Um, but I've seen like hotel and, um, and the last season. And I thought those, the hotel was really good. Then, uh, I free, I, I stopped watching last season because it was so bad. Uh, they just never connect anything really well, but the first episode of this of apocalypse is really, really good. And I'm hoping they kind of continue through with this season and that they keep it, um, you know, consistent and, and a very good, um, season for this, but it, they have it set up really, really well to, to be successful. So I hope that they do well on that. I would recommend that you should go watch the first episode of that. Not last season though. I'm going to go ahead and apologize to our patrons because it looks like the whole video didn't Didn't record. So (laughs) My bad. Some of that is there, but I don't think that all of it is is there. But anyway, okay. Um, My tips and bits this week, uh, Lucy and I started watching uh, Schitt's Creek, which is so funny, That's awesome. Allie and I have watched that for um, every single season. Mm -hmm. We're already, yeah, we're already past. Yeah. Dude, it's so funny. I mean, Eugene Levy is hysteric and he's funny in such a subtle way yeah you know like he's no he's not an over-the-top comedic actor but everything that he does is so funny yeah it's the way that he presents himself as a as a character too and i mean i just think that show is incredible it's fantastic yeah and uh did i don't know if you know this but the son it's his son yeah no the son is his son yeah but it gets even better is his son wrote the show. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Do you know that the waitress is his daughter? Uh, I did not know that, yeah. but I know that it was like a whole family thing. Yeah. So that's yeah, really yeah, yeah. interesting. Yeah. I think that there that is something that's been kind of lost in Hollywood. Like there aren't any big family affairs anymore yeah. with like that. But yeah, Schitt's Creek is so good. And it's spelled S-C-H-I-T-T, yeah. by the way, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I don't have a whole lot of tips and bits this week. I've been thinking so much about Schitt's Creek that... That's about it. That's been it, yeah. I so, guess my other um, was would be Ozark Season 2. You were the second person this week to have recommended that show to me. It's Jason Bateman, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Great I show. L- love me some Jason Bateman. Um, I will, I, I've been meaning to check that out uh, for a while now. But anyway. So that about wraps it up for us this week. Um... First and foremost, thank you guys so much for listening to the show. I, we are, uh, you know, almost to episode fifty. I mean, this was this was episode forty-five. So beautiful. Can't can't believe that we're that close. Um, just want to remind you guys, if you are in Louisville for Bourbon and Beyond, come and find us and say hi. Uh, we're going to be there all day, both days, and we're going to be a little busy, but definitely, you know, come and find us because it's going to be it's going to be a good time. Lots yeah. of good bourbon there. Lots of bourbon. Lots of good bourbon there. Um, Kurt, thanks for being on, buddy. Oh, yeah. It's good to see you. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. So. It hasn't been that long. I know, but... It's been it, like two weeks. I know, but still. <laughs> good to see you too, Perry. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> thanks. Uh, I want to drink this Henry McKenna, so I'm going to let you uh, tell people where to find you on social media while I do that. Okay. Uh, so on Instagram, you can find me at KurtCon, and on Twitter, Kurt underscore Con 15. Yeah. And he had to check his Instagram to figure out which one was which. (laughs) Every time. (laughs) Oh, man. This Henry McKenna is a nice change from what we just had. 
smells better, tastes better. Oh. The proof is Beautiful. in the glass. I don't know. There's something there. I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm at Pew Ritter 1492 Pretty much everywhere. If you want to follow the show, we are at my bourbon pod on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can find our apparel at bourbonshop.threadless.com. Become a patron again of the show at patreon.com slash my bourbon podcast. And then give us a five star rate and review on iTunes so we can get more people aware of the show. That really helps. Tell your friends about the show too. I mean, heck, that's Any, gonna that's gonna help us more than anything, is letting your friends know that <laughs> Yeah. You like bourbon? Listen. Yeah, please, please. And I guess you kind of already are if you're listening to well, this yeah. show. Uh, thank you all so much, as always, for listening to the show. We will see you next week with our maybe first of two. I'm not sure. It could be just one big dump of an episode yeah. in terms of like content it's from overwhelming. <clears throat> yeah, we'll we'll see. I I have a feeling it's going to get broken up into a couple of episodes. But regardless, uh, Bourbon and Beyond episode is coming out next week, so be on the lookout for that. But until then, I'm Perry. I'm Curtis, and this is my Bourbon Podcast. I don't want to drink Benchmark anymore. I hate it. It's the worst. It's gross. It's so gross. Ugh. Give me Budweiser, Jim Beam. <laughs> Copper lager. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> <laughs>